It hasn't been a good time for Harry Maguire lately. He used to be seen as one of England's best centre-backs, but now people all around the world make fun of him. To be honest, it's kind of sad. And it looks like Gareth Southgate feels sorry for him too. He just got really upset with people who were criticising Maguire when the crowd booed and jeered at him during England's 3-1 win over Scotland. This got us wondering. Who else in the world of football got that much stick? Before we even begin, we're doing a special giveaway for all our loyal subscribers and we want you to be a winner. You have a chance to win a brand new jersey of whichever club you want and even have it delivered to your doorstep for free. And all you have to do is three simple things. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like and share this video and stay in the comments which club shirt you want. And that is all. Beckham's one for sure. It's important to remember that the former England captain Tim was once a big scapegoat in his own country, and it all goes back to one famous incident during the World Cup. In a moment of anger, the midfielder went from being a hero to a villain when he got a red card for losing his temper to Diego Simeone during a round of 16 match against Argentina. England had initially taken the lead in the game, but with Beckham sent off, they eventually lost in a penalty shootout. People were really angry with him for playing a big part in the disappointment, but as we all know, Beckham later repaired his reputation with that astounding free kick against Greece. But it's hard to forget how the football world turned one man from being the best assist maker into one of the biggest scapegoats in history. Ozil's fall from grace was really surprising. He went from being one of the game's most graceful players to being completely left out at Arsenal in just a few years. It felt like he perfectly represented the later years of Arsene Wenger's time at Arsenal. People used to love him, but then they didn't want him anymore, and they even ended his contract six months early. His relaxed playing style made it look like he wasn't working hard enough for the team. When people talked about Arsenal not being tough enough, they often said it was Ozil's fault. He also caused a lot of arguments when he played for the German national team, and he eventually quit, saying he faced racism and disrespect because of both his Turkish and Muslim background. But sometimes, a single penalty miss in a World Cup final can turn you into a villain, and Roberto Baggio knows that feeling well. Baggio was an incredibly talented player in his time, wowing fans in the Serie A for many years. He played a crucial role in getting Italy to the 1994 FIFA World Cup final, scoring five goals in the tournament. However, he quickly became a target of anger in Italy when he missed the crucial penalty in the shootout against Brazil. He blasted the ball high over the crossbar, and with that, an end to his fan base. This can be best summed up in his own words, as he said, I lost it all in one penalty. But even a talented player who scored a winning goal in a Champions League final can experience criticism from fans. We're talking about none other than Kai Havertz. After making a £65 million move to Arsenal, the German now faces the challenge of winning over a new group of fans. Even though he's only played a few games with the Gunners, it seems like every small mistake is being highlighted by the media. Manager Mikel Arteta has already asked the supporters to be more supportive and show Havertz more love as he gets used to his new team. Now, do you still remember the Maguire bashing we were talking about at the start? It appears is that if Southgate's so eager to defend Maguire, it might be because he understands what it's like to be blamed for things. For instance, Southgate missed an important penalty during Euro 96, a tournament that took place in England. It was a big disappointment as England were knocked out by Germany. That missed penalty still bothers him today. Even though he's become the manager of the England national team, which has shifted the public's focus, he still faces a lot of criticism. Speaking of other players, players who faced similar situations, we have Gareth Bale for you. We all recognise how amazing he was, especially that incredible bicycle kick. However, Real Madrid fans didn't quite warm up to him. At first, fitness problems slowed down his progress in Spain, and over time, fans started seeing him as an outsider. His reluctance to speak Spanish in public didn't improve things either, but what really tested the patience of those in La Liga was when the famous Wales Golf Madrid incident. Elsewhere, 
Despite reaching great success with Liverpool, where Henderson capped in the team to Champions League and Premier League victories, his journey at Anfield had its rough patches. Even now, after moving from England to Saudi Arabia in the summer, he's facing criticism for changing his stance on human rights. But there's more to it than that. Henderson used to be a scapegoat in his early years with Liverpool. When he first joined from Sunderland, he struggled to make an impression, and there was even talk of him being sold to Fulham as part of a swap deal with Clint Dempsey. However, he persevered, eventually becoming the team captain. At the time, many doubted if he could fill Steven Gerrard's shoes as captain. Even after his later success, some fans across England still didn't fully appreciate him. Another midfielder who faced fans backlash was Granit Xhaka. He used to be seen as a rash player, making lots of mistakes. Things got really bad when he reacted badly to his Gunner fans during a match against Crystal Palace and thus he lost his captain status. Surprisingly, Mikel Arteta convinced him to stay, even though Xhaka wanted to leave for her to Berlin. After that, he worked hard and won back the fans' support, but now he's left for Bayer Leverkusen. So, fans can be really passionate about the game, and they often criticise players, making them scapegoats. Anthony at United is another one facing this right now, getting blamed by United fans when things don't go well. The same thing happened to CR7 last season when United weren't performing well and fans pointed fingers at him. It seems there's no room for mistakes in football. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!